uh, like at Andersson or Sweden. So as you saw on the graphic, one previous meeting between these two players. And that was in the first round of the Swiss Open back in 2010 when it was a Super Series event. And Du Ping Yi won on that occasion two straight games. So Du Ping Yi in Open Badminton has never won a title. Although his 10 tournaments this year in the Super Series, he's reached two finals. Both of them premier events, Indonesia and Denmark. Did, of course, win a gold medal at the World University Championships back in 2008. But World University Championships don't count towards world ranking. It's not a, an event open to any badminton player. So I suppose in official terms, he's yet to win a, his first title. players Steen very much workers on court aren't they I think we can expect some long rallies yeah they have quite a similar playing style um, everything who has big smash and, um, he's worked on developing his game so that he can play more patient Duping you doesn't really have a great smash, but he's very, very quick on his feet and very good at following up. Also, very, very strong in defense. Five. Well, of course, the winner of this match will meet Chen Long in tomorrow's final, who dis disposed of Hu Yun in the semi final. In this afternoon session, oh my goodness. Now, certainly when Vitting Hus played yesterday, I was singing his praises in the opening game against Liu Darren because I liked the fact that he was started to, or, well, he started the match wanting to command the rallies. Yeah, I, for my part, questioned uh, the wise thing in really being able to get his head together to play his best in the last two games because I felt that I had a possibility that it would affect him here in this match but um, so far he's off to quite a good start however this sort of basic game I have a strong feeling that Dupin Yu is quite a bit better than the day in that part of the game even though a great rally here Sort of feeling each other's teeth.
Yeah, right idea. No, I have a feeling, though, that Viting Hoos, because he knows that Du Peng Yu is just so competent in his retrieving abilities, I think Viting Hoos might really go for the lines, go for the acute angles, and I suspect he might make one or two errors. Yeah. I hope. Um, I hope he's discussed with uh, Coach Jesper Larsen that he needs to be patient because if he can take four or five rallies in a row to victory, then Dupin Yu will eventually become worried that his defense is just not good enough for this day. So he needs to work extremely hard and also be very very disciplined in his game. Sorry. I was going to say, I mean, he seemed to be off balance almost as if he changed his mind and just looked as if he was going to play the block and then decided he wanted to kill it. Yeah. There's sense a bit of uh, nervousness on the Chinese side yeah. here. Probably thinks he's quite a big favourite to go into this uh, Super Series final. for from duping you made some errors on the baseline and I think Han should move a little bit forward and try to take control of the race see himself as favourite for this. I wonder if he's feeling pressure because I suspect that the Chinese coaching staff will see it that if he doesn't win this, they'll see it as a you know a poor result and you know there's so many good Chinese players. Yeah. It's one three matches but if he should lose this match they will become sort of nullified. Yeah, exactly. Uh, of course, Hans has played well in this uh, tournament, but um, as you said, he's never made it past the quarterfinals in the Super Series. And uh, yeah, he's expected, I think, from the Chinese coaches that uh, Dupin Yu should win this match. And that's perhaps exactly what can prevent him from yeah, winning it. Exactly. Sounded well in. Yeah, he's so physically strong in his legs, isn't he? That even when he seems to be pulled out of position, yeah, his recovery is so good. Oh, that's plumb on the line. Good call by the line judge. Hans was on his way forward and had to move backwards again to retrieve the defense from Dupinu. Well 
folk. So it's the Dane who has the advantage at the mid-game interval here in the opening game. Once again, oh, it's the shuttle drop long of that back line. It's a real struggle to have the correct accuracy on the on the back line, and we also saw that attacking by smash isn't exactly the strong <laughs> side. Look at the way he changed direction there. Oh my goodness me. Oh. Rally. The fans who are, have remained in the stadium here have been treated to some excellent badminton. Of course, it's gone midnight local time. It could be a long match this one as well, Jill, because uh, yeah. of course, uh, Bittinghouse's defense is not as exactly as good as uh, Dupont use but his attack is a bit better than Dupont use so well, that's well for long rallies There's no doubt he's fired up about it, is there? Yeah, and it's really important to um, to show self-belief and that he's willing to go all out in this match. I have the pleasure of coaching Janu Jorgensen against uh, Duping Yu in uh, Malaysia early in 2012. And at that point, Jan survived eight match points and went on to win the match. So I think it's fair to question if uh, Dupont Yu has got the the nerves required to to pull this off. And that's the recipe for Hans whenever he gets the chance. Fire these full power smashes at uh, Dupont Yu's forehand side and and move forward. We saw him getting overplayed by a long defense earlier on, but uh, he simply needs to find spots to create points and attacking uh, 
forehand side of Dupont U is a good one. jump ahead of myself but can you imagine what a story it would be if Viting Hoos were to reach the final if he wins this match against Du Peng Yu. Of course he was only number 10 on the end of year Super Series ranking list. Accuse him of lack of effort, can you? Of course, beating Hoos only got the call up to come to these Super Series finals at the last moment when Sho Sazaki declined the invitation. As you said, uh as we discussed earlier, I still hold Duping U.S. quite clear favourite to win this match, yeah. but should Beating Hoos go on to the final, I mean, the Danes will love it. Denmark love these stories about being called in as reserves and then go on to the final and hopefully take the title. Yes, thanks for reminding me. I'm thinking of the football of the European Championships. What year was that, Steen? 92. And yeah, thank you. And we've never really gotten over it. <laughs> should be very careful playing the backhand corner of um, Dupin Yu at the net because he can make much tighter net shots from the backhand side than from the forehand side and uh, that will force hands to to lift and to make some really difficult lifts I think Get out of the way, beating who's that push hit him in the middle of the chest. And had he managed to get out of the way, I think it might have gone long of that back line. level attack is not as dangerous from the forehand side because he's having a much harder time following up on it. White. Oh my goodness. 
Goodness gracious. Well, rally of the tournament for me. We must say that the faithful uh, spectators still here in the hall in the Shenzhen Bay Sports Center, they're getting excellent badminton. Canada, the umpire, asking the players to continue. point. Oh, wide. Good judgment from Du Peng Yu. It's all level once again. is getting more and more played on Dupeng Yu's conditions. Opportunity was there. That was really lucky for duping you because I don't think he could have gotten to that. No, he was way out of position, wasn't he? Still when he's got Dupeng Yu in his long forehand corner, I'd like Hans to move a little bit forward and threaten a bit more. Even though he's got a smashing opportunity, but he's not that hard-hitting a player, so he should be able to pull off a good defensive shot anyway. Oh, 
asking Duping you to just place his towel neatly in the kit box. Game point opportunity for the Dane. That's magnificently saved. Very good placement. He's made a lot of straight attacks, and this time, very quick crush up. Who's not staying on Duping Yu's side because he wasn't really aggressive himself. You can see he's staying back there, waiting for what's going to happen. Second game point. Oh. Shot. How courageous was that? My duping you. Yeah. Oh, little net exchange. Slatted on the line. Misjudgment there from Du Ping Yu. And now a third game point opportunity for the Dane. And it's long. He has indeed claimed the opening gate. Twenty-three twenty-one confirms Mike Walker of Canada. Twenty-eight minutes. Oh, we're going to see a major upset here. And Vittinghus having already taken the opening gate. asking uh, Jesper Larsen if he thinks that he hits it a bit too straight from his backhand side and Jesper says on the contrary but I do think that you hit it a little bit too clean wants him to slice it a bit mm, a very positive rally to start the second game from Du Peng Yu
a little slip as he landed there. Yeah, I'm sitting here with a feeling that um, Duping Yu is playing a little bit more free in this uh, game. He's got to play more freely because he's got nothing to lose now. And uh, I think it's going to be a bit harder for Witting Hoos. Can't help but think back to yesterday's match against Liu Darren. No, exactly uh, the same scenario with this huge outburst of joy and then lots of thoughts and lots of things to get into your head. I think it's going to be a quick set win for um, duping you with this one. Smash. Five. Shouldn't sound so surprised because we know he's got a very good smash. from Ms. Velasen. losing an awful lot of points in his short forehand corner uh, and if he's not losing points he's losing initiative and it sort of bothers me that he's just content to play the rallying game I think Du Peng Yu is such a fine athlete and yeah. such stamina he, he, he must be hoping that he totally panics if yeah. he can if he can set up a good defense that uh, Dupin Yu will panic, but I think he's going to have to create his own points. I mean, it's fine playing him in the forehand corner, but from time to time he needs to play him in the long backhand corner, but he needs to do it when he's in control. And he's almost never in control at the moment. So that's a crazy shot. Seven, uh, it looked like the, uh, the game he played yesterday where things totally fall apart in the second game. anticipated but didn't really take the initiative he should have taken Bit of 
a strange year, really, that Du Peng Yu has had. It was two Super Series finals, a couple of semi finals as well, but six first round losses in Super Series events. Oh. Yeah, umpire making them wait while the uh, court attendant gets back into his seat. angle. Three, it's important that he takes the backhand side as well. Yeah. I guess the Super Series uh, with the Dupont Yu, um, I guess he would have done a bit better around the Olympics, the tournaments just and before the Olympics three. and the tournaments just after the Olympics. I don't know if it's correct, but... Um, Yeah, well, his China Masters was after the Olympics. And yeah. He was a semi finalist there just before the Olympics, the Indonesia. Yeah, finalist in the Denmark Open, yeah. which also was actually the uh, first time the Asians had to travel overseas after yeah. the Olympics. Well, this is looking a little bit ominous for this day. Point advantage to do pay you in the second to plus 10 points then uh, you need to consider not using too much energy here in the second game and uh, hands not really satisfied with this game is just Nine, saying maybe three, I, maybe I don't five. believe that I can actually play the game I need to play but I don't have the stamina that's of course a big problem same situation as yesterday he's not taking advantage of winning the first game having the momentum let's the opponent into the match again Five, Sure, yes, but Larson doesn't really know what to think right now. Should he be satisfied because he's narrowed the gap to five points, or should he worry that Hans is going to use too much energy anyway and still lose the game? Oh, oh that's that's definitely a wrong call. Hmm, dear me. Yeah. That was definitely in. Oh! That was what the 
Lucas Malazan was talking about um, that he should sort of he did a little bit sliced so it went quite a bit below tape making Dupin you judge himself how much he needed to <coughs> to hit the shuttle yeah, so much easier to feed off your opponent's pace, isn't it, rather than the pace on the shuttle Got yourself. Well. Oh, he's ready for the flick serve. Very well placed attack here. Super, super smash from Du Peng Yu. Just inside the line. And I guess at this stage, Steen, yeah. you make the decision that really it's too even big though it's a lead. Even though it's not 10 points, it's still m way too much to catch up. together for the third game. Yeah. points away from taking this second game, sending it to a decider. Points opportunities now. Of course, a uh, nice comeback from uh, Dupeng Yu because in the beginning of this game he he had to earn his points, but yeah. here he actually got them. Second by Dupeng Yu, twenty-one eight, one game off. Yeah, Umpal confirms. One game apiece. And Du Peng Yu looking much stronger for the two athletes.
perhaps very revealing the fact that Du Peng Yu was back on court much, much quicker than his opponent. Obviously eager to get on with this third and deciding game. again. Top of the tape. discrepancy between the two players as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. pressure to the opponent so you can get as many points as possible before they sort of calm down and get their game together. And he's been unable to find the baseline duping you so it's a big opportunity for the Dane to move forward. Good. Seems to come back in. Yeah. I think it started out, but uh, drifted in. A good rally for Duping Yu because he can sort of play the tension a bit out of his body. Smash followed forward so quickly, knew that that was the only possibility. Blocked towards the net, and it wasn't the best of blocks either. It's 
good judgment from Du Peng Yi. And from Wittenhus's point of view, it's just tactically wrong played this rally. too fond of that one either but it was a winner so still a two point lead <laughs> well played by Duping Yu coming, coming forward after his uh, Straight down the line. Yes, and I think Du Peng Yu has managed to do precisely what you were, were suggesting the Dane didn't allow him to do, which is regroup, refind his form. Oh, it's long of the back line, it's too flat. Six points going to Peng Yu's way. Oh, that was going wide. That's definitely wide. Push is a perfect length. Mm, I think that's seven of the last eight points now. play right now by the Dane. I mean, he had a big hold on Dupeng Yu at 6-2, totally dominating him, uh, putting pressure on him in the forehand corner, but he's totally let it go. Oh, that's perfection. That's lovely. of the last 10 points now. And Du Peng Yu is definitely in momentum with him. But he said basically what the F is going on. He makes an easy win, uh, a quick winner, and, and you lose one point, and then suddenly you're unable to play at all. Play him in the forehand corner, forward towards the net, and yeah. 
How can you disagree on that? And the problem is that for, for Witting, who was the problem is that it's now not as easy carrying out this tactic as it was on the other side of the court because Dupin Yu had trouble finding the baseline. But uh, here he can play much more freely because the drift is helping him. So it looks really, really good for him. Chinese player. Ten of the last eleven points prior to the yeah. this last one. Urging his man just to calm down, keep to the game plan. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what on earth the thought process was there. Playing the forehand corner, but he's not moving forward. And Dupin Yu gets time to maneuver himself into position. Yeah, he's still working really hard as the match time just goes over the hour mark. And to be fair, we have to say that it would be reasonable if Dupin Yu proceeds to the final. He's won all his three matches so far and yeah beating who's just beat Kenichi Tago beating who appears to have lost the plot
by Dupin Yu. Well constructed rally. And he's just controlling everything now. Playing with high, high confidence. 15 of the last 18 points. sending someone out there uh, watching this on uh, either television or, or internet uh, saying that we should also give a lot of credit to Dupin Yu and, and we should but we should also criticize Bitting Hoos because um, oh, it's just not good enough the way I see it it's not like it's uh, Lin Dan is meeting no and I've, I've watched Beating who's quite a lot over the last year. And it seems to me that he does have problems closing out matches. We talked about it at length yesterday when he was playing against Liu Darren. It's not it's not so much losing, it's Losing big, big time. Yeah. Yeah, not even being, you know, you don't even have the inkling that he's really been in this deciding game since he was 6 2 up. I mean, it's all been one way traffic. Since 6 4, the match was decided. Yeah. So, of course, a lot of credit to Dukan Yu for playing his game and finishing yeah. it. Also, disappointment with the Danish performance in this, the last match of the day. Match points. Delaying the inevitable, I suspect. Mm. Well, maybe a last horror. Good night, Sean. It's crazy. It's simply crazy. But it's obvious to me that even <laughs> though uh, Dupin Yu has got eight match points, he's still very, very nervous. And at beating who's had 16 points, he would still have a chance to win this.
Du Peng Yu makes it on an all-Chinese affair in the men's singles tomorrow. Well, it was a brave effort from Vittinghus, who only got the call up at the last moment to come to these Super Series finals. I'm sure he'll remember the week with a lot of joy. His first ever Super Series semi-final. But as you say, Steen, in the end, simply not good enough. An hour and eight minutes. But Du Peng Yu, mentally tough, physically tough. And he's the one that will be contesting the final tomorrow. So, of course, with the time just about one o'clock in the morning local time there is confirmation of the scoreline of the last of our semi-finals Dupin new victory over Hans Christian Wittinghus in three games